welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, today I'm just going to be doing the part two of the flipping tutorial. I'm really sorry that the part was one wasn't very well. This is why I'm going to be creating this one. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to start fletching more in RS for at the moment as I really want to get some money because it is profitable and it's not well, it isn't really profitable. But yeah. Um, but anyway, let's get to it and just follow your steps and you'll be able to do it easy. Before you start flipping, I would recommend to have at least one million of coins inside your bank. Um, or you could just start from scratch and do it from one GP. Um, anyway, let's get to this. Uh, right, what you want to do is just find a rubbish item at the moment, which I'm going to be doing air rings. I'm sorry if you heard the Facebook bleep, Sam. Um, but yeah. Oh, air ring, sorry. This is just basic for the new people who are starting to flip. Um, what you want to do is just buy with the quantity as one at the moment. I should want to see what the buy and sell price is. Uh, what you want to do now is you want to boost this price up like really high, uh, just so you see the highest sell price where it will go for. What you, when you should do that, confirm the offer and you'll buy straight away. So it's currently buying it. If it's sorry, well. The sell price is at 23 GP. And now what you want to do is sell the air rune and you want to boost it down a lot so you can see the lowest buy price. This is where you make your money. Air runes you won't have much difference. There's two G uh, two GP profit or on each air rune, which isn't too bad actually. It's normally one. Anyway, let's get started. Air rune. So we brought the the lowest buy price was 21 if you go into your sale history. So you put into 21 for your price per item and I'm going to buy 25k, 25k worth, well 24999 as there's a 25k limit. Let's confirm the offer and now you want to wait for the runes to buy. It won't take too long, whilst you're waiting you could just go fletch or do something just as I'm going to do now. Okay, so I'm going to have to quickly stop here for two seconds because I need to hurry up actually. So anyway, once you've got your runes, I'd have stopped at 18k which was really weird. But yeah, um, as you see, you brought the runes for 23 and you sold them for 21. Now what you want to do is sell them for 23, not buy them. <laughs> so that you won't be making money, you'd be losing 2gp. Um, there's 21, that's what you brought for and that's what you're going to sell for. So it's 2gp difference. So it was 23, and there'll be your profit. Uh, we'll load up the calculator now and see how much profit we actually made off that. So I've got a couple of items in there now, sort of selling and stuff. But yeah, we're going to load the calculator and see how much profit we actually made. It wouldn't be a big majority of difference because I think it'd be about 50k, I don't even know. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't be a big majority of difference because we're doing normal items that are really not high. But we'll show you. Okay, so this is what we originally brought the runes for. Uh, 21 GP each, 18,000 of them, which was 478k. And so as you see, 23, that's 414k. Alright, so in total, let me figure out the difference graph and we'll put some math. Okay, so I'm not too sure, I just really did this fast, it was like two seconds, uh, I think it's 46k, if I'm not right then, uh, I legit couldn't care less, I'm in a bit of a hurry, so yeah, I'm just going to quickly show the guide on how to actually make the money, and not do the maths. Okay, so, you've made that much profit from just these rooms, you can do any other items, say, like Dragon Bones, um, this is, you have to be members for Dragon Bones, actually. I uh, forgot to say that. Uh, this is for FT uh, free to play players and normal. So, like, even if you're free to play, you can do this as well. Uh, it doesn't affect if you're a member or not. Uh, you just do the same as you normally do. So, yeah. Okay, so I'd buy them for twelve nine four one, and sell them for twelve nine nine eight, and then there's your profit. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this guide. I'm sorry that the first guide wasn't actually that interesting and it wasn't like explainable, like you can understand it as much. 
Uh, if this guide helps you out, can you just please leave the a comment in the description saying thank you or something like that? Just really help me out. Um, but yeah, I'll be. If you could, I'll be accepting in-game donations. My name's I H A Z Z A X. I has a Rex. Um, all of it will be going towards a giveaway. Your name will be written down on the notepad and featured in the video. Um, but yeah, if you'd be kind and to do that, and I might be giving it to the well as well for like all the children for the computers and stuff, as I've seen on YouTube. Um, I won't be doing it massively. I'm just going to be doing a little bit because I don't want to be taking all the credit for your money, what you've given me, and yeah. You don't have to donate. If you do, can you just please leave a comment section, like a description, comment in the comment section below, and just or you can PM me in game, um, or message me on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I respect you for watching to the end. If you've watched it now, if you really want more content like RuneScape Three, please tell me, and I'll be doing plenty, plenty more videos.